is Madison and welcome to today's Zoo to You. Um, I'm an animal ambassador keeper here at the Central Florida Zoo. And today I've brought with me one of my favorite ambassador animals. This is Dillo, also lovingly known as Piglet by some of our volunteers. Dillo here is a nine banded armadillo. And you guys might have seen some of these running around outside. They are kind of a native to Florida. We'll get into that a little bit later. And the reason he's called a nine banded armadillo is because of these bands he has here on his back. You can kind of see them. Every armadillo doesn't have nine bands, every nine banded cat, anywhere from like seven to nine. But that's typically how you can tell. They have what's called scoots here along their back. So these guys are very scaly, but they are in fact mammals. A lot of people think that they're reptiles. If you can kind of see on his belly, he does have hair. Now Dillo here was found very young as an orphan. Um, he was rescued. Unfortunately, he could not be released back into the wild, mostly because he was imprinted on people. And the worry is that if you go up to uh, people, he might go up to dogs or cars and we wouldn't want him to get injured. So for his safety, he was able to find a home here at the Central Florida Zoo. And he is now 10 years old. So he's been here for about 10 years now. Now in the wild these guys typically only live to be about 7 to 10 but in human care they can live up to 15 and the um, one longest known one in human care was actually 21 years old. Now armadillos a lot of people you know they consider them pest species but they're really great to have around. These guys they eat a lot of bugs. They are insectivores and you know we love all animals but it's good to have a balance and these guys help out a lot eating those bugs. If you notice here, Dillo has a very long snout. He's gonna use that to kind of root through the ground. They will occasionally eat some plant matter, but for the most part, they love bugs. Now, these guys um, have those long claws there to help them dig through the dirt and also to dig burrows, because that's where they're gonna be found. They don't have a lot of hair on their body, so they have to stay warm and they'll actually live in burrows. Now those long claws um, and the long nose does help him find his food. And again, that kind of roots up your yard, but it, they're really awesome to have around because they kind of are nature's cleanup crew. They're eating all those bugs. Now, if you don't want armadillos in your yard, the best advice I can give to you is to put a fence around your yard. That's the best preventative. These guys actually can jump pretty high, but it's only straight up in the air. Um, they can jump about three to four feet straight up in the air, but not over a fence. So as long as your fence is about two feet high, they can't get over it. One of the biggest myths about these guys is that they roll up into a ball. Now, only the three banded armadillo down in South America can actually roll up into a ball, where these guys will use jumping as a defense. So it's kind of a weird defense, but what it is, if a predator is chasing them and they suddenly just jump really high up in the air, it's very startling. It might deter a predator enough for the armadillo to be able to run away. Now, unfortunately, these guys are commonly hit by cars because that defense doesn't work against them. They are nocturnal, so if you're driving at night in a wooded area, just be very careful. Um, unfortunately, if you manage to drive over the armadillo, a lot of times they will jump up and hit the bottom of a car. So your best bet is to try to go around them and drive very carefully um, because again, these guys are great to have around. Now I am gonna do a fun little enrichment activity with Dillo here, and you're gonna kind of see how he eats. Remember I was saying how much he loves bugs? I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna put him in this pool here. We have some of his favorite snacks. <laughs> He's gonna go crazy. So there's some crickets, superworms, some what are called night crawlers or earthworms. And Dillo here is gonna go crazy. Now, whenever Dillo catches a food item, if you guys wanna give a thumbs up to show that he is catching his food there. He's actually got one riding on his back. So you're gonna see Dillo, he's using that nose mostly. He does not have good eyesight, he has very small eyes. So that nose is gonna help him a lot, especially when he is digging through the dirt, that nose can be underground and sniffing for food. He's pretty good at catching his food though. And you notice how big his ears are, he does have really good hearing as well. We can go ahead and take some questions. Scarlett likes to know, do they like water? Do they like water? That's a great question. These guys actually are really good swimmers and they have two ways of swimming. One is that they can kind of inflate their body with a lot of air and float along rivers to the best they can. Otherwise, they can actually kind of swim down to the bottom and use their claws to kind of walk across the bottom of a river. They can hold their breath up to six minutes long. So that kind of aided in their um, coming to Florida because these guys were originally found, they're found throughout South America, Central America, and like in Texas. However, they kind of walked their way to Florida and over time have become more of a native species, kind of establishing yourself there. And one of the ways they're able to do that is because they are such good swimmers. They're able to cross rivers and things like that. 
it's kind of seen in history is that our expansion westward actually aided their expansion, expansion eastward. Now there are quite a few armadillos around nowadays because uh, humans have uh, you know, taken away certain habitats. They do pretty well um, in human areas. Um, again, they love our yards. Um, if you have a, a more kind of a soft yard with a lot of leaf litter, that's where you usually find them. Now, most armadillos, again, they're going to be nocturnal. They will come out during the day sometimes. If you do see one in the wild, just make sure you give them plenty of space and let them do their job and just kind of hang out. You don't want to scare them or startle them or anything like that. Their main thing that they eat is insects, grubs, beetles. They'll eat, you know, spiders, things like that. Insects and bugs are their favorite. However, they are technically omnivores, so they will eat plants, fruits, vegetables. Um, Dillo here at the zoo, he gets live prey like this, these crickets, as well as those worms, as well as a special insectivore chow. This chow is made of all the different vitamins and nutrients that are helpful to an insectivore. So he gets that every day, as well as that live prey. All right, well, if we don't have any more questions, we wanna go ahead and thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed meeting Dillo, our armadillo. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.